Okay, today we're talking about Windows 10, and I've talked about this extensively. Most people know I'm not a fan of Windows 10, to say the least, but with 1903 coming out earlier in April and, and actually May for many customers, uh, they've really revamped how you set up accounts in Windows 10, and it is getting worse and worse with every feature update. It started in 1803 and has gotten progressively worse in the last three feature updates. But I wanted to go over a mock install to actually show you what's happening. And two, I want to, you to think about having an always-on computer. Do you actually own this computer? Are you just being used as a wallet for Microsoft to get even richer by selling your data? All these things kind of enter into my mind when I see a lot of the setup process, whether they're capturing a lot more data from you as far as activity history, uh, actually having not even a localized account anymore, but an actual in the cloud account where it's a Microsoft account that is stored elsewhere, but you use it to log into your computer, which is now not only the default, but really pushed in your face uh, to where you should be choosing that option in their eyes. But I want to kind of cover all these things and, and show you the problem and see what your thoughts are as far as where we go from here. Now, before we jump over on the desktop, I have to say most people know I'm not a fan. I made uh, this whole channel really about uh, the things I hated about Windows 10 as I as it evolved into this beast that we see now. But uh, I've actually switched over to Linux desktop back in November and really started gaming and other things in it. And I've been doing live streams of that on Twitch and, and other things. So check me out there and check out my website, ChrisTitus.com, if you're interested in this type of thing. But I wanted to kind of just lay this out as a groundwork, actually as a possibility to switch off Windows. But these things are very predatory what Microsoft's doing, and I just wanted to bring it to the public's attention, and that's why I'm making this video. So without all this talking, let's go ahead, jump over to the desktop, show you the issue, so you can decide for yourself whether or not is this a problem. Okay, so here is the standard setup in 1903. This is the new feature update that came out about April, May of this year. The initial setup, you kind of fly through this. I've done it a million times. Nothing out of the ordinary, uh, except maybe silencing Cortana because she can get super annoying <laughs> if you have a microphone or something like that. Um, you can also silence it here. Okay, so this is kind of the first step. Now, most people choose personal use. However, you might consider with the new setup, set up as an organization. I'm about to show you why. We'll go set up for personal use, hit next, and it'll say, hey, what do you want to do? Sign up here or do offline account? We'll say offline account because creating a, a one with the other account is, it sucks. I don't want Microsoft having all my info. But it says, hey, get more done, complete do you want to sign up with a Microsoft account instead? And I'm like, no, I just told you I want to just sign up with an offline account. And you're like, okay, who's going to use this PC? All right. And then we're going to choose a password. Super memorable. And then it wants security questions. Now, these are all added steps. I have a... a hint that they did all this just kind of inconvenience you because if you use the Microsoft one, you'd already be off and going. But let's say you got what's your pet's name. We'll throw that in there. Security question two, city you're born. Security question three, childhood nickname. And next. Then it's like, do you want to save all your activity history? This is also pretty new in 1903. No, you don't want to keep track of every single bit of history so they can sell that information. Do you want help from the digital assistants? That's Cortana. This basically allows her to snoop on you by saying, hey, Cortana, and she'd respond, and you might be able to try and look up something. I've actually attempted to use this service, and it's atrocious. If you want that just give it like a Google Home or something, or even better, an Alexa. Uh, either way, you know, I'm not a big fan of either one of those, but if you are, 
there you go. Now, I always disable all of this diagnostic data, all this. Now, it doesn't really matter too much because this doesn't really disable much. Uh, you really need like O and O shut up to do that. So from here, it'll actually get into your desktop. And from your desktop, you'll actually be able to do something. Um, but it's kind of an aggravating process, one that I just had to show you in 1903. I absolutely hate this, and they've made it very cumbersome. So there you have it. That is the actual install process and the issue at hand with this. Now, ZDNet actually made an article about this, and they posed a lot of these same questions. Now, I definitely amped it up a little bit in this video just because I do think this is extremely predatory. I don't think this is good for the consumer. I don't think this is good for anyone that uses Microsoft Windows. I know I strip most of this stuff out on all my Windows installs if I can, but it's becoming more and more difficult. Difficult, and it's becoming more and more aggressive in just the volume of stuff they're throwing at me to rip out. It's kind of amazing in this regard, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. A big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.